recording from Portland, from, like, the metropolitan area. Uh, I was just driving behind this bus, and I couldn't help but notice, right in the back, right there, it says, powered by biodiesel. Now, what we learned from my buddy Kyle is that uh, the biodiesel is oil, and then it is uh, chemically al altered somehow, and uh, that's that's what they're running there. So, could be old French fry oil, could be Kentucky Fried Chicken oil, it could be some kind of fresh stuff that was, uh, you know, grown for that. So, yeah. Anyways, today I'm gonna meet up with uh, a couple friends. Actually, this place right here. How cool is this? Um, it is some kind of a uh, food joint inside, kind of like food trucks, a very Portland hipster kind of place. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna meet up uh, with uh, Leg Life. Met them at uh, CBX, they're from Alaska, really nice people. And I'm just trying to figure out where to park. By the way, I'm b I've been borrowing cars. I don't have one. But you guys know that, I think. Anyways, I just realized something amazing. I get a free lunch today. How cool is that? For coming out here, Adam said, uh, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll get lunch and stuff. And I completely forgot about that until just this second. So I was actually thinking how starving I was. So Adam, this could cost you a bit. All right, so this is outside of what is called the zipper. Apparently it is like a food court for adults. It has uh, four restaurants, a bar, a coffee shop, and a late night nail salon, I kid you not, named Bang. But that's the first word. So if you can figure that out, throw it in the comments. It's kind of uh, adult in nature. Is that exactly? So it's the hot chicken, which is a banana <laughs> rail style hot sauce. Interesting. I, so good. I was expecting like a larger plate of variety. Oh, it's so good. Is it? Oh my goodness. Oh, what, what did you get over here? Chicken um, sandwich? I got the chicken sandwich with a nice little slaw and some pickled cucumbers. Sweet. Nice. Yeah. Well, everybody, this is the crew that uh, I met almost everyone over at uh, CBX. Um, some familiar faces, of course. Um, we ended up doing the fried chicken place, because apparently it's good. And lunch is on Adam, so I, of course, ordered, ordered the whole chicken. Thanks, dude. Do you guys know where hot chicken comes from? Because... No. I don't think so. Is that Adam? Nashville thing? Like Nashville hot chicken. Is it? I thought it was Nashville. Okay. It started, I think it started in Nashville, but I don't know much more than that. Mm -hmm. I have a friend from Thailand who I brought here. And he said this was a pretty similar to like a like a Thai sauce on it. Interesting. Uh, um, but yeah. I don't know where hot chicken is from. If you know, feel free to comment, but I can tell you it tastes good. <laughs> I think I prefer the, the toast to the waffles, so good thumbs up. You swing by Horton. Definitely come by. I don't know the name of this place, so what's it called? Basilisk. <laughs> Saturday market on a Sunday and guess what there's still people here um, but some of the other vendors over there are kind of I don't know blown away by the wind they closed down something's been on my mind sure I want to know what it's like to live in Alaska year-round uh, Alaska is amazing you know what like my wife and I have had chances to leave Alaska but um, we like vacation other places but there's no place we'd rather call home it's um we live in Anchorage, which we say is only 15 minutes away from Alaska. And so, you know, from our from our townhouse door, in 15 minutes we can be where you feel like you're the only person in the world. There's nobody else around. It's just you and mountains and water. And uh, I can't imagine a more adventurous place to live. Have you ever grabbed something in the dead of winter and had your hands stuck to it? Uh, yes, absolutely. What? I was yeah. just kidding. No, seriously. Tell me all about it. Uh, so when we moved to Alaska, uh, we lived in a little town of Trapper Creek. Small little town. We had 16 dogs. We had our little dog team we hook up. And as a kid, you just... Um, you know, kids are grabbing, right? Yep. And so I went to Trap Creek Elementary School, and uh, I remember they had a tether ball, like thing outside, <laughs> and they would take the tether ball off in the winter time, 
but the pole was still there. And I remember like double hand grabbing the pole and the heat from my hand melting like the water, but it being so cold that it still froze and them having to bring like a cup of hot water to get my hands off of the tetherball. No way. Oh, absolutely. So you were stuck there. I was like six years old and stuck during resource to a tetherball pole. So if nobody was around to come and get you, I, I probably would have started like spitting on my hand maybe. <laughs> like I'm assuming you get creative, but like there's nothing you can do because it's just so cold. Wow, that's an excellent Dumb and Dumber moment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just a ball uh -huh. and make the body like that. Then make the beard. And how long have you been doing ceramics? About 16 years. Yeah, it's a while. Yeah. <laughs> and these guys, about three or four, maybe. So for the beard, it's scoring and slipping to attach. So basically, you score the clay. Oh, like sandpaper and glue, yeah, right? Yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. And the glue is just called slip, which is liquid clay, basically. And so I kind of glue those two pieces together. Fun. Yeah, and kind of bend up his beard a little. And then do the nose. You must have soft hands from all the uh, <laughs> silicate, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I like about hand building is it's really freeing. You can pretty much do anything and um, everybody does it different. So. Yeah. So yeah, for the little nose, I'll score and slip that. Where do I put my... Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> That's good ice cream, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, just score and slip the nose on. That just takes a tiny little bit. Okay, kind of just smooth that out. And then for the beard, I just use the same tool. Kind of go in and kind of give it a little movement. Like that. Clean that up. And then for the hat, just another bullet clay. It almost looks like uh, dough. Yeah, you know, really, yeah. For pizza. <laughs> exactly. Could you make one out of pizza dough? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried. <laughs> but then again, you know, if you like make a little mold maybe. Yeah. <laughs> to shape it around. Yeah. That tomato sauce could be the, uh, yeah. the, the, the coloring. Right. And so, yeah, for the, usually it'll do the top first and kind of give it a little twist. And then the brim. Wow, you're so fast at that. <laughs> lots and lots of practice. Yeah. It actually used to be I could never do them down here. I had to like really focus, concentrate. I only did them at home in the studio. But after a while, you're like, just little friends developing right down here. Yeah. Score and slip up. I have to turn around to see. And he's still really soft. So normally I would have done this in a um, little bit longer stage so that uh -huh. each section could kind of dry a little in between. Cool. So, yeah, so then he goes home, he gets completely cleaned up. Yeah. Sanded bottom to sit flat. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Yeah. And uh, people can find you oh, yep. here on the weekends, Sabrina exactly. and Leaf, huh? Yep, every Great. weekend, March through Christmas Eve. <laughs> cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. So, I've been walking around the market a little bit and was talking with, with the guys, and I was sharing. A thought that I had. I want to stop using the word collab. Not that I use it a lot, right? It's very like transactional. And what I prefer to use is, is friends, right? The word friends. Friends help each other. Friends are there for each other. Friends would bend over backwards to, to help someone else out. So I haven't been collabing with these fine gentlemen today. I've just been 
friendly with him. <laughs> so on that note, uh, do you want to tell everybody your channel? Yeah, so I'm River Caraba. We run a channel called River Now. It's my wife and I, a vlogging channel. We have a lot of fun. Cool. Colin Bloodworth. Um, I try to do a lot of cinematic stuff. It's Colin Bloodworth Vlogs. Um, just all about the positivity and, and friends. I love that. I'm Adam. My wife and I run a vlogging channel called Leg Life. Our last name is Leg. We live in Alaska, so we showcase a lot of our state, a lot of our travels and adventures. Awesome. So, guys, what do you think? Should people abandon the word collab? Should we say friends instead? I don't know. Is there a group consensus here? Well, I'm 100%. Yeah. So. Definitely. Yeah. And, and really, it's not so much the word. It's the meaning behind the word. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know. Share your thoughts below. So, guys... We missed the grand finale. This area along the waterside in uh, springtime has all these, uh, I think they're cherries, cherry blossoms. As you can see, they all fell down. Here's the, uh, the leftovers. But I'm guessing that uh, some of the strong wind and, and rain that uh, came through just uh, this week <laughs> knocked, knocked it all off. We got the, monkey in the monkeys in the middle here in between three vloggers. What's up? <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you happen to make it, it's um, it's a really cool thing. We're just right down, actually, I'll show you what that is. That's at Portland sign. Bye, my friends. Bye, Jack. Bye, Jack. So great to see all of you. Good to see you. That's right. Buy the merch. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't have any merch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching. Uh, sure was fun to hang out with more creators. Um, and hopefully, with bus number two being a bit larger bus and being more cost effective, I can open my home, so to say, to to more people. Um, you know, who make videos and photography and whatnot, want to, you know, come along on a trip. Uh, it sure would be cheap. <laughs> uh, oil's going to be just ridiculously inexpensive. And, uh, yeah, so, if, you know, for those people who have, you know, the time and stuff like that, it would be super fun. But uh, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of a pizza I got. Uh, the fam. This is a gigantic Hawaiian. I know, apparently, you know, some people don't like Hawaiian. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> pineapple on pizza is a very good idea. I grew up with this stuff, uh, you know, pineapple on pizza for a long time, and I don't know, man. It's just one of those weird things, you know? So, anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And, uh... I still need to go hide that treasure someplace. Thanks for watching.